Justin Bieber is reportedly standing by Selena Gomez after she completed a two-week treatment program for depression and anxiety. The 25-year-old Wolf singer checked herself into a center in New York City after feeling like she needed to get away and focus on herself with no distractions. According to sources, the star isn't currently experiencing any issues and this most recent stint was preventative. Selena stayed on site, and underwent therapy, ate healthy meals and took Pilates and meditation sessions, according to People. She returned to Los Angeles very empowered, and is now reportedly working on new music. A source told the website that Justin was very supportive of his girlfriend's decision to seek treatment, and is happy his love has returned to him in LA. Justin and Selena are doing great, the source told People. Their relationship is very special. They have both changed, their lives are so different and it really seems things could work out great this time. They have both hugely matured. Justin is very supportive of Selena feeling her best. She feels and looks great, they added. And this isn't the first time the singer has taken a break to focus on herself. Back in 2016, she privately sought professional treatment after suffering from anxiety, panic attacks and depression as side effects of her lupus. Selena's break comes amid a difficult few weeks for the star after her mother Mandy Teefy publicly slammed her for working with controversial director Woody Allen, who has been accused of sexual assault by his adopted daughter Dylan Farrow. When asked why Selena appeared in Woody's upcoming movie A Rainy Day in New York, the 41-year-old replied, Sorry, no one can make Selena do anything she doesn't want to. I had a long talk with her about not working with him and it didn't click. No one controls her. She makes all her own decisions, Mandy insisted. No matter how hard you try to advise, it falls on deaf ears. Emerging refreshed after completing her program, Selena was spotted cheering on her supportive 23-year-old Bo at his hockey game on Wednesday, 31 Jan 18.